Welcome back to Style It Up. I'm your host, Olga Medvedev. We've had some wonderful guests come on our show this season, and Style It Up likes to keep in touch with all of our guests and have them share their success with us. So we decided to create a segment for our memorable mentions called Style It Up Catches Up. Do you remember Isabella Brando? She's the youngest designer to ever appear on Style It Up. She's the 17-year-old high school student whose fashion line is called Bella Rose. Isabella had a list of major goals she wanted to accomplish when she was here in February, and we will let you know just how far she's come. But first, let's take a look back at her interview. We had a little Bella's vision over here, yes. and I, I have to say I was looking at it earlier, and it's, it's great to have a little board that kind of guides you through life. Do you want to Tell us a little bit about what we have going on here. Yeah, so pretty much this is my vision board and what I want to achieve um, being a fashion designer. So I put fashion design in the middle because that's my main goal. And here I actually just put um, like the steps that I need to take in order to achieve my goal of being a, a high fashion designer. So I said the simple things as graduating high school, because as you said, I'm still only in high school. So graduating high school, I definitely want to go to college and major in fashion design. And then I want to intern with a high-end um, fashion designer. Do you have any in mind? Who Who's your favorite designer? Definitely Vera Wang, um, Donna Karen. Those are like my main streams right now. And hopefully I can intern with them soon. Yeah, absolutely. So and then I have sell clothes in high retail stores. So basically I just want to come up with my own um, I, I want to come up with my own name brand mm -hmm. and then appear in well-known fashion magazines such as Teen Vogue and Vogue and participate in Fashion Week, whether it be Boston Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, New York, whatever it is. I just want to be in Fashion Week and then have a celebrity wear my clothing. So, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you're still young, so all of these goals are pretty achievable and, yeah. you know, pre pretty realistic. It's very, very exciting. A little bit of a closet, a designer's closet, yes. as we like to call it. And you have some looks over there, so let's take yep. a look and chat about those pieces a little bit. Okay, so the first piece right here is just the really high-waisted skirt. And it's just pretty much a long skirt. And what's in season right now, a long skirt, so, like, I could have made this short, but I made it long. I'm not that tall, but yeah, it's supposed to look like this, so. Very cool, and then um, the next piece that we have is another skirt. And this is kind of a solid mix with a color, and it's supposed to look oh, like I this, so. That. I absolutely love that. Thank That's you. Great. So this is mainly casual wear. Um, you could probably dress it up to yeah. go to a party or something, but yeah. And my last piece is actually a dress. And it's kind of like an African print. And I really love this dress. Oh, so I love that dress. And it's kind of like I the whole it. sleeveless, one sleeve yeah. thing. Great material, too, for like the summer. It's yeah. Perfect. So we spoke to Isabella, and she tells us she has been very busy with fashion shows and events. She sent in some photos of her journey, and she shared this with us, and I quote. I'm happy that a lot of people in and outside of Boston have acknowledged my talent as a young fashion designer. So far, I have participated in 16 fashion shows. One of the most important shows was Boston and Vogue, which is associated with Boston Fashion Week. It's been a really busy year for me, and I couldn't be happier with the opportunities that have been provided to me. I'm currently in my senior year at Lexington High School and in the process of applying to schools where I will be majoring in fashion design. For 2012, I hope to continue to share my talent with many more people by participating in fashion shows and to gain more experience. Also, I'm trying to increase my clientele and focus more on individual requests to expand my creativity as a fashion designer. Of course, I plan on doing that after I finish applying to colleges. Well, Isabella, good for you for making school a priority. We are proud of you for all of your accomplishments and we wish you all the best. We can't wait to hear more from you.